the methane is really a non-issue when the animals are raised properly, right? We're actually sequestering more carbon. And when there's more carbon in the soil, it actually attracts, carbon attracts H2O. And so it actually will store more, car, more water in the soil um, when you have healthy soil. So when we have uh, flat soil that um, is not covered at all uh, and it rains, it just runs off. It runs off into our waterways and it takes all the chemicals with it from industrial chemical agriculture. Mm -hmm. Like if you picture a cornfield with just those sticks of corn, but nothing actually in between that. Um, in a regenerative system, the soil is more like a sponge. So it's, it's less about the water you get from the air and more about the water you can actually hold in the soil. Um, most of the water attributed to cattle is actually green water. So it's rainwater that would fall anyway. Um, and so it's very important to look at the methodology. You know, we do that in, in nutrition science, but we have to really look at the methodology in all of these environmental yeah. studies too. Um, so 94% of the water footprint for even typical cattle is green, is mm. rain. Yeah. Uh, 97% in grass-fed water is rain. 